you ever eaten nothing but fermented foods to improve your digestion, but it melted your teeth and you can no longer chew your food and your digestion got worse? Of course you haven't. That's what I did. I'm the health guru, not you. A couple people have some questions about digestion. Apple cider vinegar, is that good? We will dive deep into digestion today. He's walking somewhere. I had a couple people curious about apple cider vinegar. What are your thoughts on apple cider vinegar for digestion? And what's been your experience with apple cider vinegar? So technically apple cider vinegar is like this miracle healing substance. Everybody has a use for it. It's one of those old wives tales that just seems to work like castor oil. Everybody has this medicinal thing. That, oh my God, eggshells heal everything. So like it's a home remedy that does a lot of different things. You can use it on your skin, digestion. It removed a mole from my body. You just soak a mole, like it'll literally pull out crap from your body. So like it has a lot of benefits and technically it should increase your digestive powers and it would, except for one fact that we have teeth and they melt with vinegar related acids. And I've never found a way to just incorporate apple cider vinegar without it destroying my teeth. A straw doesn't work, you dick. You still sip it and then it's like all in your teeth, in the back of your teeth, melting them from the back. It's a back attack. No thank you to that. So it's like, it should help. Just how do you get it? Just inject it into your blood. You might live. Oh my goodness, a boat. You're a boat. Wow, a Canadian boat. Seems like they own that boat. It's not like a cop or a taxi. Wow. Imagine I could just boat my way to Niagara Falls or something, or swim. <laughs> you remember the experiment I did where I was eating like mostly fermented foods and I was like, oh my God, you wouldn't believe my digestion's so good now. I was eating everything like sauerkraut, apple cider vinegar, miso, the umabushi plum paste sourdough bread like everything was fermented that intro wasn't a joke i did it and i was like this is really helping and then i was like ow my teeth and then i made some clickbaity video what they don't tell you about digestive i mean fermented food <laughs> and it was just like a nightmare it really was like anything acid that's why right now i'm not going that way i'm not like i would love to have some sauerkraut i think it would help my digestion but Hot damn, no, my teeth can't handle it, especially when you add it to your food and you're chewing it all throughout. I've tried it where it's just like a separate thing. I eat it quick, rinse my mouth out, and then eat my meal. It's like, nah, man, I don't know how you do it unless you put rubber on your teeth, but it'll melt the rubber. Which brings me to another question, more of a mocking, if you ask me. How's the gas on starch and fruit? Smiley wink. It's fine. Let me tell you about digestion, carnivore versus plant-based that I am now, it's different. It's a different thing. In carnivore, I had no gas whatsoever, no bloating, but I was constipated and things would come out of me like slime, meaty slime. And it wasn't great, but I hardly ever farted. It was pretty comfortable, but often I would have these very burning sulfury poos that are just like, ow, man, that's melting my ass from the inside. Now, things are very calm. And it's like, I have some gas, but it's not sulfury stuff that's like, oh my God, I have to leave this room. No one will know it was me. It's not that at all. It's just like, yeah, I definitely have gas, especially I've had some beans now. I'm trying to incorporate more protein, so I'm having these beans. And it's like, yeah, a little gassy, but it's not like, oh my God, what is that? What's wrong with you vegans? Eat some steak. It's fine. So it's like, my gut is definitely there. It's a bigger gut than it used to be. There's all this food inside of it all the time. <sighs> That's a fully relaxed, non-creatine gut right there. That's good times. So I'm very regular, but I take digestive aids. I have prunes in the morning and magnesium at night. Lately, I've been trying to lower the magnesium because that will flush the gates. No matter what you're eating, if you're taking I was taking one teaspoon of magnesium oxide a night, and I'll tell you why I do the oxide instead of citrate or bicalcinate or whatever the hell people are, the kids are taking these days. 
The reason I take oxide is because it's not well absorbed. I don't want to supplement magnesium. I don't believe that I'm deficient in one mineral and I'm trying to add that. I just want it to flush the gut and it does that without being absorbed. So like when I was keto taking magnesium in large amounts, my calcium was so low that I started to get vertigo. There was no calcium in my ears to create the equilibrium like a segue. I just could fall, like I was dizzy in the morning. I was like, what the hell is this? So I much prefer the magnesium oxide and it's cheap, but I don't wanna be dependent on that either. It's creamy and nice. You could add it to a smoothie to replace fat somehow. It's like creamy. There's little hacks like that. Boiled cauliflower blended in the smoothie. It's like, oh, it's so creamy now. We just miss mother's milk. So magnesium works and I've been lowering it and now half a teaspoon at night and things are a little harder to push. I'm like, I'm not there yet. Ah, damn it, these starch meals. So obviously you would want to eat a diet that glides through you without any of these digestive aids. I have not found that place yet. I don't know, like fruits seem to be the slidiest, but man, meats constipate me, nuts and seeds, even starches are not great. Beans especially, I'm looking in your direction. Things are a little harder since I've introduced you to my life, but things that seem to help me, digestive enzymes, but not taking too many of them because those digest the fiber. And if you do that too much, you're basically carnivore. So just one digestive enzyme before a cooked meal to replace the ones I cooked out of existence. And then the prunes and the magnesium to keep things sliding. Because getting constipated, that's the worst thing ever. Waste in here, backing up, and then it's going everywhere. Your body's looking for ways to store poo in your head, and it will do it. And fermented foods should help, but my teeth are not ready for that challenge yet. So no thank you to those, but see where you lie on that scale. If you could just somehow get a shot of apple cider vinegar down your throat, I've done it, it burns. And if you have it in water, it's too much. You just like open the whole, beer drinkers do it. They, that's how they empty the bottle so fast. They don't even, they're like ducks. So if you can get that into you or just inject it into your veins. But I tell you, it's night and day difference, plant-based versus carnivore. I can digest whatever I want now somewhat normally. I can go have a cheat meal of some sort. Like, okay, we're going to a Greek restaurant. All they have is the rice and potatoes and it's greasy. Like, all right, we'll eat that. I might get a zit. But like, it's not gonna kill me. Whereas on carnivore, you have one cheat and it's like, it's pain. It's literal pain. Some people like are thrown back for weeks and they feel hung over and depressed and, oh, there was apple cider vinegar on that steak. No wonder I've been depressed and wanted to kill myself for the past two weeks. It's like, that's not normal at all. Like digestion is ruined. I think carnivore does a lot more harm to the gut over time, but some people just need to be there and stay there forever. I get you. I was almost with you on it until I escaped the cult. But digestion's much better with the plants. You gotta get used to it, build up your microbiome, start slow and then like slowly increase. And then you can do some raw fruits and veggies. Let's not forget, I started with mostly juice, fruit juice. And then I was taking bites of that fruit, watermelon throughout the day. And then eventually I just switched into like a mono meal of watermelon. Then, hmm, interesting. And then eventually I started like having rice and then, oh, the cooked rice and veggies. Ooh. So slowly over time, just careful on those beans. Those are a dick, but they make you so strong that you could punch your colon when it gets upset. Like, oh, these beans, shut up, colon, take it. So I don't know, man, it's up to you. What are your thoughts? Apple cider vinegar, yeah, just duck it, duck it down after you thumb up the video. You. You could thumb it down, even though I took you to a lake. There's seagulls back there. The reason you're thumbing this down is because you brush your teeth with apple cider vinegar. Sure, it'll get the stains out, but it'll also get the enamel out and then the dentin and then whatever weird microorganisms that are dancing in there. And then what? Just gums? You're gonna mash gum things together? Mash potatoes the rest of your life? 
It's not a life I want to live. Although they are delicious. I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna leave. Bitcoin. Cool. Fifteen of you. I see you. They've donated. You're good good people. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you next time.